Hey, welcome to the channel. My name is Alan Sams, and today we're taking a look at the Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray guitar. Um, so, Ernie Ball Music Man is a company that's been around since, uh, well, Music Man started in 1974. By the 80s, uh, the Ball family had pretty much completed the purchase of the company, and uh, and they, they still run it to this day. Uh, their guitars are the ones that are made in California, um, are just very, very nicely. Uh, it's a combination of hand, crafts, hand crafting, robotics. Their factory is really kind of a neat, uh, a really neat modern and classic facility. Um, it's not a heavy guitar. This one weighs uh, 7.8 pounds. It's is a African mahogany. You've got a roasted maple neck with a rosewood fretboard. 22 stainless steel medium high frets. You've got the classic Ernie Ball 4 over 2 design. These are locking tuners. You can see that or not. Uh, obviously, tortoise shell pick guard with two Music Man uh, El Nico humbuckers that are hand wound. And you've got a bridge, kind of a classic bridge. With the, I like the bridge cover that they put on here. Very simple electronics, one volume, one tone. You know, push pull, pots, none of that kind of stuff going on here. But here's the thing, probably one of the one of the things that really shines on this guitar that makes it so incredibly beautiful in my mind is I love the wood, the woods that they use on the, on these necks and on the headstock. This one is actually it's a bird's eye it's a it's a speckled bird's eye maple and on the back you can see the figuring on the back of this neck it's it's like a speckled bird's eye maple with um with actually some flame running through it so that wood is just phenomenal uh they use so a mixture of oil and and uh i mean i'm sorry wax and uh, gun oil to finish the back of the, of the neck and it is it makes this neck so comfortable uh, and you can really it really kind of get up and down on it pretty easily the neck is also asymmetrical so what that means is it's a little thicker it's thicker on the base side and it kind of tapers off on the treble side so it, it fits has a more natural flow and natural fit for the hand was how resonant the woods are not plugged in you know obviously nothing just i mean it's the loudest guitar i have that doesn't have you know that's not connected to an amp <laughs>
back up. My morning routine is to get up, have coffee, and search the gear websites, Guitar Center, Sam Ash, uh, Sweetwater, and go look and see what else is out there, something that I might be interested in. This, this guitar actually cured me of that. Uh, I really haven't had much desire to look for any other guitars. Um, I've played this guitar every day since I've gotten it. It is, um, I can't express to you how, how much of an easy guitar this is to play. And, you know, I guess the saying is you get what you pay for. And in this case, you get a lot for what you pay for. And, um, and they definitely, uh, they definitely nailed it with this one. So listen guys, uh, again, I appreciate your support. I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. My name is Alan Sams, and until next time, take care.